Oh, I didn't have my mic on. Oh, okay, my bad then. Sorry. I've been playing with my mic off since the beginning. Well, I said hi, RNG. Sorry. Uh, I didn't realize I had my mic off this whole time. Well, sorry, guys. Uh, if you watch this on YouTube, you're gonna have to read, I'm afraid. Hey, the temperature rose 5.7 degrees when that man came in. No, 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 I wasn't. That, that wasn't on purpose. Yeah. I didn't realize. I hope I had it on yesterday, though, because I know I turned it off to cough a, f a couple of times when I was streaming yesterday, and I think in the end I, I I might have forgotten to turn it back on. Ah well, it's too late anyway. Who on earth is he? <coughs> ah, it's you. Is he going to talk or not? It almost sounds... It almost felt like the game had crashed or something. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Sorry I'm late, a G. The roads were packed. It's just me. One time no CA, a G. How you been? Swim much these days? Ah, uh, hello, hello. No, I've been so busy. B, 
busy. Busy Smeezy, OG, my boy. He had to make time to relax. Y yes, indeed. OG seems to be his nickname for the judge. I'm afraid you're right. Very afraid. Um, sorry, but who are you? Aha, uh -huh, so you're right, oh, the attorney. I've heard good things about you, son. Hey, uh, thanks. So sorry about our little worthy giving you all that trouble, eh? You know, we should all go swimming together sometime. Jolly. L little worthy. Mr. Wright, you don't know the district chief of police? Ch chief of police? He's the top ranking police officer in the entire district. What's with the long silences with this guy? Name is Gant. Gant, 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 Damon Gant. Pleased to meet you, everyone. <coughs> so, uh, to what do we owe this honor today? It's been over two years since you last came to this courtroom, hasn't it? Well, it's worthy here. Look at the poor fellow. I just thought I'd help out by bringing this. Hey, that's... My sister's muffler. So Miss Star wasn't just seeing things. When the crime occurred, Miss Sky really was wearing that muffler. But to think that it was stuffed into that exhaust pipe. On Little Worthy's car, no less. <laughs> Stop having those long silences. It's, it's annoying. <laughs> it's really quite embarrassing, even for us. What's this? It's what you call a switchblade knife. Quite per quite perplexing this. <laughs> Chief, what kind of outfit are you running? M Mr. Edgeworth? How could they miss such a vital piece of evidence? If your investigators are this lax, how do you expect us to do our job? N now, wait a minute, Worthy. I have no desire to hear your, uh... Yeah, I don't know what he said. I'm telling you to wait, or didn't you hear me? Have a look at this document, where it says, Person in Charge of Investigation. There's no mistaking that signature, is there, Miles Edgeworth? That's not fair. On the day of the crime, I, I had... Your head in the clouds because you got that award. I know how you feel. But you're the person in charge. I expect a written apology. What? Are you serious? Don't be too upset. We'll find a way to clean up this mess that you made. This is the first time I've seen Mr. Edgeworth at a loss for words. This kind of major blunder is unlike you, Mr. Edgeworth. Gah! The court accepts this new evidence. But I'd like to ask the defense a favor first. Y yes? Just to be sure, I'd like to, to take a look at the blade of this knife. The, the blade, Your Honor? Well, I don't see why not. Could you open it up for me, I wonder? Yes, well, I think all you have to do is push that switch and... If I cut my finger, Mr. Wright, I wouldn't be able to pound my gavel anymore. Yeah, but if I cut my finger, I wouldn't be able to point it at people anymore. <laughs> Come on, just hurry up and open it. That's uh, not me. I'm not doing anything. Well, that would be the button. What? Well, don't scare me like that. I'm the one who's scared. Look at this knife blade. The tip's broken off. And this dark red stain. Blood? Wait, 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 wait. The tag on that, on, on that weapon. It's the same note that, w that was on the... Uh, that's the same thing that's written on it. That's, that was written on the note found on the body of the victim. Something happened to the controller? The controller? The controller? What? This does not excuse the actions of the police department. I would like to hear an explanation from the chief of police himself. I'm terribly sorry, but could I ask you to testify for us about the split between the prosecutors and the police and this knife? Sure, sure thing's not a problem. Not even a little one, really. Department in disorder. This knife is special, but I can't say how... here. 
Unless there's evidence to prove a connection between this knife and Goodman. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. No, no, no. It's, it's programmed to do that. Like, it's a scripted, like, menu movement. But it moves so slowly. It may feel like it's me mo moving it slowly on purpose, but I just mean that it's the game doing that and not me. Detective was killed at the police department. See, what a mess. Time of the crime, 5.15. Scary coincidence, eh? It's not officially linked to this here case, so I can't talk much about it. There... There was a murder at the police department? A detective? That's hush-hush information, huh, gee? We haven't exactly announced it yet. Oh, wait a second. You said 5.15? That's the exact time that Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Yeah, how can that be? Order, order, order. Anyway, we at the department were all uh, flustered, as you might well assume. We're in the middle of a top secret investigation. Don't tell anyone, okay? I think we understand the police department's situation. Well, Mr. Wright, two detectives killed at the same time in two different places. Chances of that are really slim, aside from me speaking, of course. I like to exercise my right to cross examine the witness. Very well, however, keep your questions focused on the case at hand. I think I already know what I have to do. Yeah, isn't that the same number? 67S? Ah, uh, no, not quite. SL92? Oh, wait. Hold on a second. Oh, actually, you have to read the note upside down or something. Because if you turn it that way... It looks more like the thing that's written on the note. Doesn't it? Six, seven, S. Yeah, it looks like, kind of looks like it. If you read it that way, it looks like SL9 and then a 2. So maybe it's the note that's upside down. Yeah. Because if you... If you read it the other way, then it changes things. It would read like 221 SL... SL9. Hmm. I'll save before I present this piece of evidence, but... I think... I think this is it. Yeah, there we go. I've, I got it right. Wait a second. Ah, uh, at last, an honest goodness objection. <laughs> this knife. This has to have something to do with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Ah, uh, uh, an honest to goodness, what do you mean from her G? This is great. <laughs> Look at the tag on this knife. It reads SL92. And this is important. Why? Over here, we also have a memo that was on the body of the victim. If you flip it upside down, hmm? what's this? 6 minus S, uh, 7S, 12, 2. No, actually, you have to read it the other way. Your Honor, it's upside down. Yeah, I thought so. Upside. The printed name on the memo makes it look like it's ri right side up. But turn it around and what do you get? 20 221 SL9. Yeah. Ah, uh, aha! <laughs> Whoever wrote this note was holding the paper upside down. SL9. That's the same thing that is written on the knight's tag. I isn't that the name of a of a case? Like DL6. This one would be SL9. <coughs> <coughs> that 
that's the classification order, um, the order number or something. Order, order. Well, Chief. Ah, oh, well, I guess the cat's out of the bag. You win, Rido. I win. Uh, what game is this guy playing? <laughs> the snipe was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. Hmm. What case? So this knife was stolen? Yes, but on the day of the murder. It was evidence, you say. Was it in fact a murder weapon? Nice, nice, nice. Good show, little worthy. It was a murder weapon as it happens. It was evidence from a case long since sold. So this knife was stolen on the day of the murder. And it was found in the exhaust pipe of Edgeworth's car. Hard to think there isn't a connection here or there. That was a bad day for the department. We weren't in any shape to do an investigation. Why is that? Something happened at the police department too, huh? You got a good look in your eyes there, right, oh my boy? Sharp. Hungry. So, something did happen, and why wasn't I informed? Why weren't you informed? Well, why need you ask? No matter. I understand. You were busy. What's with Lana's case and all? Well, what happened? What happened at the police department that day? A detective was killed at the police department, see? What a mess. And who, who was the victim? On the same day that a detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department? That's a fact. Surprising, isn't it? Hudgy. I'm at a loss for words. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested him. Just arrested him, in fact. Just arrested? That was quick. But there are still a lot of unanswered questions. Maybe you could help, Rido. I suppose I could help if you help me by giving me data on your case. Oh, good one. The kid's sharp. Okay, here's the deal. I'll tell you one thing and one thing only. <coughs> <coughs> well, well, well. He's only gonna tell me one bit. Maybe I should save before I do anything else. How was the victim killed? When the victim died? We already know that. It's 515. That I'm not sure. Uh, this one, I guess. So tell me, where was the victim found? Well, I can't speak on where the corpse was found, but I can say the crime took place in the evidence room at the police department. The evidence room? Wait a second, I have heard of that. The evidence room? Didn't he mention that in his testimony just now? This knife was evidence in a case. It was stolen from the department's evidence room. There's the connection between the two cases. You seem happy, Mr. Wright. Happy? Happy we just got handed our ticket to go to town on this case. With the link between the two cases established, we finally have some leverage. Now, we can get to Gant, 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 Gant to specify about the, the details. Chief, the defense's position is simply this. The connection between these two cases has already been proven. Hey, you don't say. Well, out with it, Rido. What's your connection? Yes, out with it, Mr. Wright. The connection is a place mentioned in the testimony we just heard. The knife found in the lot in the lot was stolen from the police department's evidence room. Not to mention the victim had on him the case number of, on the knife's evidence tag. And we also know that the detective murdered at the police department was killed in that very same evidence room. Indeed, there do seem to be too many connections for it to be a coincidence. Enough with the long silence silences already. You two make a good pair. It took my men two days to find out what you did deduced right here. Chief, I request that you release your information on the victim at the police department. See, that's the tricky part. It hasn't been announced yet and all. Can we get the information unofficially? Hmm. Sure, why not? It's unofficial after all. <laughs> what, really? Who would have guessed? 
I'll cooperate, but I can't reveal the name of the victim of the department, okay? Why is that? If you're going to tell us a little, why not tell us everything? Ah, well, case information is sticky stuff. You have to do everything properly. Oh, well, I guess I might as well try to get what I can out of him. Okay, how about you tell me the victim's ID number? Mm, sure, why not? It's not like you'll be able to tell who it is from that. Of course not. You won't tell me their name, after all. Keep a tight lid on ID numbers, so don't go getting your hopes up. The number is... Five eight four two one eight eight nine. But that's the same. That's the idea of Goodman. Well, that's quite long. And we have to remember these. It drives me nuts. Eight two. I can't do it. You didn't even get the first number right. Uh, yes, it does. It does tell me anything. The ID number of the victim at the police department. This tells me something. Actually, it does, Your Honor. It does, I think. Meaning? It has to be what I think it is. But what does this mean? Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. I think it's exactly like I've said all along. The victim at the prosecutor's office parking lot was not killed there, it was killed somewhere else. And then the body was moved using Miles Edgeworth's uh, car. Well, let's hear what the defense has to say. You say the ID number of the detective who was murdered at the police department tells you something. What does it tell you? Take that! Take that! Witness. What is it, Mr. Wright? You're grinning like a schoolgirl on prom night. No, I, it's just, I got confused. And this is news? Huh? Just come out with both guns blazing like you always do. I thought I just did. The police department, the prosecutor's office, two places, two detectives murdered at one time. Actually, I happen to have a police ID number here. Oh ho, is it yours? No, your honor, I'm a defense attorney, remember? This is the ID number of our victim, Detective Goodman. Shame on you, Rido. Personal IDs are top secret. Detective Goodman's ID number is 5842189. And this means what exactly? Come on. Make an effort, please. Wait, that ID number we heard from the chief earlier, that started with A2. Hmm, I've forgotten. You didn't even get the first number right. Again. The number the chief of police gave us was 58421891. Wait a second, right? What does this mean? That's what I want to know. The two ID numbers are identical. In other words, the detective killed in the police department's evidence room was Bruce Goodman. What does our witness have to say about this? Yeah, right. Oh, 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 sharp as attack, right? Oh, sharp as attack. But wait, Detective Goodman is our victim. He was killed at 5.15 in the underground parking lot. Yet yeah, Detective Bruce Goodman was also killed at the police department. In the evidence room at the exact same time. Th that's impossible. So what we're saying is the same person was killed at the same time and in a completely different location? Order! Order! Now, what I want to know is, why didn't I hear about this? Yes, it's top secret, fine, but I'm the prosecutor in charge of the case. Now, just wait a second, Worthy. No need to get all flustered. Your Honor, the police department has made a grave error in this case. Wait, I said wait. Or didn't you hear me? Your side, the grave error? Mr. Edgeworth, they're yours. What? How? How dare? We informed you yesterday. I believe it was our officer Meekins who brought you the news. Officer Meekins? Mr. Wright, where have we heard that name before? We've seen him before, I think. Wait, uh huh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's him. Excuse me, Willis, Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? 
I'm here, sir. At the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. You don't mean him. According to Meekins, you didn't accept the report. Hard to believe. But your officer, he told me. He said that report had nothing to do with the Lana Sky incident. Detective Bruce Goodman murdered in the police department evidence room. Mr. Edgeworth. The victim's name is written right on the top of the report. Yeah. Why didn't you... Why didn't your officer tell me? Honestly, I'm not sure if that officer was capable of making the connection. He did seem... Challenged. In any case, this is a serious error. A gross negligence of duty on your part, Worthy. Objection! But sir, you could have submitted that report this morning to the court as evidence. Then I... Enough already. No such luck this time, worthy, or should I say, unworthy? What? Now, what was the second rule of evidence law? Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright. Uh, oh, well, it's, uh, rule to unregistered evidence presented in Mr. Bureau 11 to the case on trial. And how is this rule relevant? Normally, you submit the list of evidence to be used in court before the trial. This report wasn't on that list. So, what does this mean? I couldn't submit this evidence that the connection was proven in court. The connection was just proven by Rido over there. Good job, Rido, my boy. Huh? Huh? I, uh, must just doing my job. No. No. Seems we have come to the end of this trial. I know you're going through a tough time, Worthy. What with all those rumors? You were even in the, def in the defendant's chair just this past December. I apologize for this terrible lack of due diligence on my part. <coughs> <coughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please, just give me one day. I'll get to the bottom of what happened, if it's the last thing I do. You'd better get results this time, really. You have my profound apologies, sir. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. I don't think there's ever been an error this serious in the history of this court. I will grant one further day as the prosecution has requested. Will that be sufficient, Mr. Edgeworth? Y yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Whatever your punishment for this is, for your sake, I hope it's not decisive. Very well, court is adjourned. Da, 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 da. Ah, I'm still feeling drowsy just like the other day. I haven't had the best of nights because of the fever I had in my sore throat. And I kept coughing. Uh, uh, um, Mr. Wright, so what's going on with the case anyway? I... I am a little confused. Well, um, let's see. What is going on? The victim, Detective Bruce Goodman, was stabbed to death after 5 p.m. on the 23rd. First. Mm-hmm. He died in the prosecutor's parking lot in the police department's evidence room. What's this and the evidence room part? The prosecutor's office and the police department are 30 minutes apart by car. Well, that's what we're going to find out, or try to at least. Alright, let's do it. Glad she's in good spirits, but I'm not sure she's going to be much help with this. Don't be so sure, Mr. Wright. Huh? Look, we're in this together, right? I'll prove that these thick-rimmed glasses of mine aren't just for show. Let's go. Science awaits us. Isn't that the part where you use luminol to, to reveal blood stains or something? You know, I really don't think you should worry about the police department murder. There wasn't even a body found there. Who cares? Yeah, it was only our victim who was killed in their evidence room. No biggie. <laughs> Besides, my sister would never do such a thing. I know it. That old drum, was it empty? The old drum kicked over to find the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. 
My sister erasing evidence at the crime scene? Never. Even though she says they don't get along, Emma really likes her sister. That's not it at all. It's just... We're both professionals at what we do and I trust her. Big words for a high school student. Well, whatever there was blood... What, whether there was blood on the floor or not, the water in that oil drum washed it all away. <laughs> Ignore the strength of my science at your own peril, Mr. Wright. Huh? What's that grin for? The situation calls for one thing, and that is luminol testing fluid. Luminol? Bloody sticky stuff, you know? You can't just wash it away with a little water. Even if you can't see it, it's still there. But wouldn't the police have already done those tests? Never trust anyone's eyes but your own, Mr. Wright. Just give it a try. M me? Why do I have to do it? I'm minor. I can't even drink yet. We're testing bloodstains with this stuff, not drinking it. Yo, yeah, look, I'll lend you these glasses. Huh? You had an extra pair of those things? Like this, see? Press the A button to spray it on. Okay, let's find us some bloodstains. By the back of the car, I would think. Ah, enhance that image. That image. I can see her eyes shining behind those glasses. So, is this a blood stain? Uh, it's so... Ugh! Emma, you're shaking. It's just, this is my first time seeing real blood. Scientific investigation in action. Okay, well, we definitely know that this is a blood stain. But doesn't something strike you as odd, scientifically speaking, of course? What's odd about this scientifically? Well, I should think the amount of blood... The, penetra the perp penetrator... The perpetrator and Detective Goodman found here, right? Don't you think there'd be a little bit more... A, li a little more blood? I definitely think so. I mean... Look at all the blood on the sole of the victim's shoe. It is pretty strange. If they fought here, there'd be... There'd have to have been more blood in it than this. Uh, hey, hey, Mr. Wright. I'm gonna mark up the floor plans when we find the blood stain, okay? Sure, if you like. <sighs> and this stuff's pretty handy, too. I saved up my allowance to buy that. Luminol <laughs> testing fluid received from one very proud looking MS guy. We can't be sure that the police will reveal all their evidence in court. Sometimes they fail to mention the evidence that doesn't fit with their view of the case. Feels like we're really investigating a crime now, doesn't it? Guess I should give this a this a spray on anything suspicious? Oh no, not her again. I wonder how that fluid of yours would react to a nice dilly box. Miss Star, you only trust your own eyes, hmm? Not bad, you two. This day old dilly box is on the house. Sorry, it's just that kind of lead, this lead in doesn't really get my mouth watering. <laughs> You certainly put me in a tight spot today. My apologies, Miss Star, but... No, no, it's okay. It was my fault. Oh, we know. I witnessed everything from that security room right there, but I was afraid that wouldn't sound convincing enough, you see? I was wrong to think that. I'm sorry. Sorry? You lied on the witness stand. That's unforgivable. Little girl, don't forget what's important here. Even if the place I witnessed the events from was different, I still saw what I saw. I saw Chief Prosecutor Sky stab, stab a man in cold blood, and th that testimony still stands. Ah. I swear it on my honor as a detective. She stabbed Goodman. Uh, just a minute. Ah, uh, shit. Because I wasn't feeling too warm. It might be... It might be a bit of fever, actually. 
I know this photograph has something important to tell us, but what? So, you were a detective, weren't you, Miss Star? Yes, I, it was a long time ago. Well, two years ago. No matter why, hardened, blah, blah, blah. They cuffed it up. Cuffed it up? They confessed. They bat like babies. I'd like to stretch my legs a little bit. Alright, there we go. You know, I may seem like a demon sometimes, but I can be an angel too. I wouldn't doubt it. Every day I dragged the dirt out of the mouth of the suspects, of suspect after suspect, and before long they called me the Cuff Up Queen. Oh, and here I thought someone had gotten food poisoning from your lunches. And you were let go, uh, fired? I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator, and if these prim and pr proper prosecutors hadn't let me go, I'd still be one today. It's all because of that case, the SL9 incident. Hey, that was what was written on that label and on that memo as well. Uh, can I... Oh yeah, there we go. Get more light. Alright. Uh. Ah, much better. SL9? Wait, she doesn't mean. Mm, what do you think about this? The SL9 incident. It's, ri it's written on that knife and on that note. Goodman. Goodman was the head detective on that case, you know. Really? That knife was evidence from that case. The murder weapon. It was due for transferal the very day that Goodman was killed. Transferal? As I suspected. SL9 isn't over. Not yet. Do you think you could tell us more about the SL9 incident? calling me. She has no reaction for that, for that piece of evidence. Um... Is she willing to... It was when I grabbed... She prosecuted on the shoulder. She dropped that phone on the pavement. That's when you heard her talking about the muffler, right? Little did I know, it was a trap. The red car's muffler... Wait, what? Uh, she's not gonna talk to me more? Nah, nah. Same thing again. Loss of blood from chest wound. Assessment wound was caused by a 4.5 inch knife. A single stab wound was found. Must be the victim's blood, right? Either that or Edgeworth cut himself feeding an apple. What's Edgeworth doing with a knife like this anyway? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it in the wild. As 
Edgeworth in the wild? I think my fruit beating theory is more likely. Are you kidding? I always pictured him as an outdoors man. Now there's a scary thought. Or should I move somewhere else first? Hmm. Maybe I can try this place? Well, this place is as classy today as it was yesterday, and I'm sure it will still be just as classy tomorrow, Emma. Emma. Incidentally, Edgeworth is not here. I'm sure he's, g he's off doing important investigations. I hope that's what he's doing. I guess we'll have to come back. Uh, okay, yeah, there's probably nothing for me to react right now. She won't talk to me about more stuff. Yeah, can I go see my witness? Um, not my witness, my client is what I should say. Looks like Miss Guy is in questioning. I hope the detectives aren't yelling at her. How did you kill him in two places at the same time? Can you imagine? How is she supposed to answer that? Wait a second. Didn't Mr. Gal Gant say they've arrested the suspect in the police department murder? Let's come back later. Yeah, speaking of which... Ah, uh, I feel cold, I feel hot. <coughs> Whatever the case may be, I don't feel comfortable. <sighs> wow, everyone looks deadly serious here. Well, there was a vicious murder of a detective down at the police department. Yes, but the same detective was also killed at the same time in the prosecutor's lot. Ah, it makes my head hurt. Well, first things first. Let's go check out the police department crime scene. Yes, you sound dead set on investigating. But don't mess up or we could wind up dead. I doubt anyone wants more mysteries or dead bodies around here right now. But it doesn't look like anyone's going to help us much either. Yes, no, no, yes. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Detective killed in the evidence room? Tell no one outside the police department? No! I told that old lady at the restaurant everything. Someone's getting a demotion. <laughs> uh, What's that? It's even busier here today than it was yesterday. The detectives are running around so fast, they're blurring. I suppose it makes sense, a detective did get killed here after all. So the evidence room, the scene of a crime. According to the pamphlet we got at the front desk, here it is. She's like a kid at an amusement park. Oh, a real crime scene, let's go take a look. Uh, that thing is broken. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he's dancing. Speaking of dancing, the whole police department has been dancing around like crazy since yesterday. Can I take out these batteries? I just can't help but feel he's going to do something naughty. Hmm. Hmm. Oh wait, what? Something tells me this is where I'm gonna see of Officer Marshall. <laughs> Texas. He's got a rope over there. Uh, a bottle of whiskey. A cowboy hat. More booze up on those machines in the background. What's with the decor in this place? It's very eccentric. According to the pamphlet, this is the guard station for the evidence room. So beyond that door is the evidence room, the scene of the crime. It sure seems that way. Oh. Oh. What's wrong? It's those cacti. They're so prickly, so imposing, it's hard to think straight. If you can't handle the cacti, stay out of the desert. What I want to know is, if this is a guard station, where is the guard? 
I have a feeling I know who he is already. <laughs> yeah, me too. Mm, it looks like there's a video feed from the evidence room here. There's a light blinking below the, mo the monitor. It says recording. I bet we could use this computer to check on who went in and out of, of there. Well, wh why won't you do it then? Yipes, these shirts are prickly. They must be the real deal. I would think just one big one big one would be sufficient. These cacti are a lot like my sister, actually. How so? In case in a cold, rigid shell with spines pointing in every direction, just like her. I'm not so sure I see the resemblance. It's more an attitude thing than a physical similarity. <laughs> There's a security guard in uniform hanging here. It looks more like a costume than a uniform. A leather jacket, leather pants, a leather... What was that called again? A punchy? A ponchy? A poncho! Hmm, wait, maybe that wasn't it. It's a poncho, well I think I'll keep that information to myself for the time being, yeah. It's a poncho. The swing door makes this, the place look like some kind of saloon. But look, it's nailed shut. You can't get in that way. Of course not. If you went in through here, the cactus would fall over. Ouch. I'd say that'd be more like a yar myself. Mm. Uh, look on the floor. A lasso. Mm, looks like it's set up to trap something. A trap here? Wait, I know. Maybe someone was trying to catch a wild bull in here, but the lasso missed. You sure have an active imagination. Yeah. Indeed. Mm. No, okay, I've already checked that out. Mm. The evidence room is beyond that door. Let's just walk in. It won't open. You thought it'd be open? I think we need someone's permission to go in there first. Hmm. Well, That has to be about everything, right? Hmm. What do I do? Hey, there's a button on the on the on the thing there. Ah, uh, it's not gonna let me use it. The big red button. Mm. Uh, maybe I can move s move elsewhere right now. I guess it doesn't hurt maybe to talk to these guys here. Hmm. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. I know. The killer used dry eyes. If you put it between the latch and the door, the room could be sealed shut. This is good. I win a writer's award for sure. He's not writing a report. He's writing a novel. <laughs> On the police's dime. No less. Hmm, move. Uh, is he back? Ah, uh, shoot, no. That's not... Ah, uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Uh... Jorth is still in, still isn't in. Um.
Uh... I don't have any new evidence, right? Nah, it's the same thing again that she says when she doesn't want to react to something I show her. Well, where should we begin? Oh, well, it's not obvious we should begin with that, you know, that thing, the mystery of the victim, I guess. How could one man, Dr. Detective Goodman, be killed in two places simultaneously? Oh, well, you see, we should go to the police department, the evidence room, was it? I'm not being very useful here, am I? No, no, you're being very helpful. But I tried to go there, they wouldn't let me in. Poor Mr. Edgeworth. And then we're going through a tough time, Worthy, but with all those rumors. You were even in defendant's chair, just... Yeah, pfft. There was that business with him not reading that officer's report. Uh, about the killing at the police department, right? The chief of police was right about that. But I can't help but think, someone at the police department doesn't like Edgeworth. Well, I'd like to visit the evidence room. Ah, uh. uh, what's happening with that cable now? Okay, there we go. Uh. Mm. Yeah, the evidence room. Haven't I already checked everything in this place? Or that, maybe? Oh, no. No, it counts as already... already inspected. Uh... I can't I just use the ID of for Goodman? I mean, he has a... a magnetic card, after all, so... Yeah, that that would be too convenient. Oh man. Uh, I wanted to use more liminal. already had that description before. Uh, that's where we found that note. 221 SL9, the SL9 incident. The case that was due for transfer the day of the murder. Ah, that's, that's a date. That's February 21st, maybe. Ah, yeah. I wonder what kind of case this SN9 incident thing was. It's kind of hard to guess just knowing the case number. If she would just talk to us. But she won't. Take a look at this. Ah, she's not gonna react to it. <coughs> Goodman Zotop's report. <coughs> I had one of those up until two years ago. Back when you were the cuff-up queen, right? 
and found this ID card here in this parking lot. Well, there is no mistaking that. It's definitely Goodman's. But it's the same ID as the man who was killed at the police department. That's impossible. I wish I could be so sure. I can't get a single reaction out of her. Yeah, the hot tea. Yeah. At least I could talk to my witness. No, she's still not here. Jeez. <sighs> and that guy still isn't here either. Hmm. Should I look it up? Because uh, I can't remember what you're supposed to do at this point. So, this is day two. Mm. Uh, Phoenix Wright. Ace Attorney. Turnabout. Five. Day two. Uh, I hate being stuck like this. I wish I could come up with something with an idea, but... Hmm. Okay, I think I've got it right here. Uh... Talk to Angel, yeah, SL9 presents Goodman's note or the switchblade knife. She reveals that blah blah blah. Present Goodman's ID, Angel until two years ago, yeah, blah blah blah. Present the crime photo. Oh, okay, no, so I have to go back and talk to Angel again. I didn't present the crime photo to her because I didn't think I needed to. Think about it. It could have taken. I could have taken that picture from the guard room, but even I get flustered sometimes. So you went straight to the scene of the crime. I rushed towards the chain link fence in an effort to stop the murderer. The murder. That's when I took this photo. Yes. In other words, five minutes after the crime. Those five minutes are the whole problem. The hole in my testimony, as it were. The five minutes weren't the problem, Miss Star. You lying was the problem. <laughs> Listen, little girl, I've had my testimony disregarded before, and I wasn't going to have it disregarded again. Just like that time. That time? Yeah, there we go. That incident really opened up my eyes to the truth. We're nothing to them. Disposable. Disposable to who? Two years ago, it was the biggest case I've, I'd ever han handled. The police and the prosecutors were desperate for decisive evidence. So they didn't solve it? Oh, you just realized our choker is an octopus Vienna? It's funny. Yeah, I noticed that yesterday actually, yeah. <laughs> so they didn't solve it. Even back then she was already wearing the same clothes. On the contrary, it was solved quite cleanly. The criminal was caught and it executed. Executed? Yes, the criminal got what was coming to him. It doesn't get any cleaner than that. The only problem was, he never did find decisive evidence, not a shred. What? But the criminal was executed, right? On the basis of evidence of a sort. Made up evidence. What? You mean they executed someone with fabricated evidence? The best part came several months after the trial. Every detective involved with the case was dealt with. Some were demoted to patrolmen, others found themselves out of a job. Yeah, she was out of a job, and people like that sheriff-looking guy was demoted. And you were one of those. Myself and one other person you know well. Wait, could it be? 
Marshall, Marshall, yeah, Jake Marshall. Oops, I mean Police Department Security Detail Officer Jake Marshall. As professional detectives, we investigated that case from every angle. <coughs> Maybe I can call him to testify in court? Jake was particularly determined, and then it was over, and he was demoted. However, he hasn't forgotten, and neither, neither have I. You haven't forgotten SL9? There was another side to that case, a hidden side. That's what we're after now. And no one up in their fancy offices can stop us. Wait, those lunches you sell? There is only one reason I come to sell lunches in this accursed office. I come here to meet old friends, boyfriends that can help me investigate. Miss Star's old boyfriends? How many does she have anyway? She said three yesterday. Just when all the, t the detectives on SL9 have disappeared, we found new evidence. There has to be a connection. So, Rookie, what? It seems like you're serious about, about investigating this case. Yes. Then you should take this. A uh, Salisbury steak lunch? I think that's supposed to be something quite expensive in Japan. I know a certain guy who might help you if you tempt him with this treat. Jake Marshall? Um, Miss Star, Officer Marshall, is he your, uh, uh, are you his, are you g, g going out? Why do you want to know? I was just wondering what happened to him. A long time ago when he was helping my sister do cases, he was so nice. He got along so well with my sister, it made me jealous. And he was nice to me too back then. This would be when Officer Marshall was a detective. But now, <coughs> but now he's so cold. And I have a cold as it happens. Jake and I merely are merely cooperating on this investigation. We're putting the past to rest, as it were. Nothing more than that. I... I see. Thank you. Officer Jake Marshall. Mm. This place is charged with frantic energy, as always. Please! Uh, wasn't that... One steak lunch, please. Oh, it's you. Detective Gumshoe? Now it's no time for chit chat, pal. I'm a busy man. What I really need is a steak lunch from Lunchland. I have one, but uh, I thought it was for Jake Marshall. I think I just heard the sound of his heart breaking. We've caught our criminal, now we just need evidence. The criminal, you mean? You heard about the stabbing in the police department evidence room, right, pal? On the same day that the detective was killed in the prosecutor's parking lot, another detective was killed at the police department. And the perpetrator? Do you have a suspect? Well, there was a suspect. Just arrested them, in fact. Biggest scandal in to hit the station in ages. Everything's topsy turvy. But Detective Gumshoe, who was it? Listen, pal, all I know is I need me a steak lunch. Prono. Standing around here talking isn't going to fill my belly. Wait, don't leave. If you want to know more, head on down to the detention center, pal. Questioning should be over, so I figure it is down down there having a good cry. Later. He ran off to the evidence room. Well, this investigation is off to a running start. Oh, so I have to go straight to the detention center? Examine. Move. Yeah, right, okay. Yeah, if Marshall isn't there, then... Uh... From here, I should be able... Yeah. <coughs> Still, I do feel better about things. A little. I mean, they caught the person who stabbed Detective Goodman, didn't they? Uh, yeah, I guess they did. Best to not go too far down that road. Not right now. Things will just get confusing. What was that? Sir, that's what I'm saying. Me, a perpetrator? I'd say I, I was perpetrated against, sir. That's what I'd say. 
has a talisman around his neck. Uh, oh, uh, hi. Greetings, sir. Wait, I know who you are. Excuse me, but is Mr. Edgeworth, uh, anywhere on the premises? I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've got your report, sir. Officer Meekins, so you're a guard here at the detention center. No, sir, I'm not, sir. I'm a little lost patrolman, like a little lost lamb, sir. Oh, I get it. You're here to deliver a report. No, sir, I, uh, how should I say this? Wait, he isn't... Is he? You, Officer Meekins, you didn't... Did you? Uh... Perpetrator, Officer Meekins reporting, sir. What? What? Now, uh, this is an expected turn of events. Sir, I'm a patrolman, sir. With general affairs, sir. Sir. Ah, my controller is done charging. Okay, there we go. I can unplug it, that's gonna be easier. <laughs> <coughs> 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 Ow, I can hear you fine, Officer Meekins. I had some business that day, sir, and so I went to the evidence room, sir. The guard station in front of the room was empty, sir. So normally there's a guard at the, at the evidence room. That's right, sir, because evidence is kept in the evidence room, sir. Now, the security officer was none other than Officer Marshall. M Marshall? And, sir, I happened to glance at the security room monitor. That's when I saw him, sir. A suspicious person in the evidence room. A suspicious person, sir. A suspicious person. Ow! What the heck is this guy doing? So what happened then? After that, sir, I... I... Everything went white. I saw red. I blacked out. Oh, when I came to, I was here in the detention center. How long were you out? Days? Hmm, might I ask, what happened to your aunt? Sir, there was no one to bandage me, sir. So I did what I could to wrap it up, sir. Bandage on his hand. Just like Miss Kai. Yet another similarity between this case and the one at the prosecutor's office. First things first, tell us how you hurt your hand. But before that, let's hear about the victim. Hmm, I don't mean to pry, but you are the perpetrator, correct? You killed Detective Bruce Goodman in the evidence room, right? Sir, please don't look at me with those sad puppy dog eyes, sir. If you have to label me as perpetrator or victim, sir, then label me victim. Hmm, I would, but you happen to be in detention and alive and well at that. Ah, uh, yes, well, that's true, sir. I suppose you could say that. Did you know the victim, Detective Goodman? Well, sir, if I had to label him as a stranger or a total stranger, then I'd say he leans heavily on the total stranger side. So, you didn't know him. Sir, I work in a tiny department devoid of light or other creature comforts. I don't know any detectives. So, if he was a total stranger, why did you stab him? Sir, I had no intention of killing him, sir, none. Nor do I have any recollection of killing him, sir. At least someone around here is more confused than I am. About your hand. Did that happen during the course of the crime? Well, you see, sir, I, uh... Don't you think you, could, you should just confess? But, sir, sir, but there was nothing I could do. Nothing you could do? Sir, to tell the truth, sir, when it happened, when the detective pointed that knife at me, I just hollered, sir. And the next thing I knew, I was unconscious. The next thing you knew, you were... Huh? Then, when I opened my eyes, I was alone in the evidence room, sir. All alone. Alone, because... Because Detective Goodman had disappeared. What? Then when I looked down, I, I was gushing blood from my hand, sir. Oh, the shock. Oh, the sorrow, sir. Can you imagine how I felt? The victim's body disappeared? Hmm, that's some story. Um, do you think you could take a look at this? Hey, that's it, sir. That's it, that's it. That's what? My head was a blank until this very moment, but sir, now I remember. I remember, sir. You mean you remember what happened? Correct. That card, that was the cause of it all. This ID card? Exactly, sir. That's exactly it. Nothing could be more exact, sir. Nothing! I'd better pry into this one a little deeper. 
Can you tell me what it is you do remember? Well, sir, you might say I'm a little lost... A lost little patrolman. A lost little lamb, if you will. I didn't know Mr. Detective Goodman who was in the evidence room. And that's why you thought he looked suspicious. Sir, I entered the evidence room and asked the man to show me his ID card. Well, that sounds pretty much by the, by the book so far. That's right, sir. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So you asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card. What did he do? As the thing suddenly pointed a knife at me. What? Sir, I assure you I was as flustered as you are right now. So I whooped and left at him. Detective Goodman pointed a knife at him. Do unto to others before they do unto you. My own father's words, sir. What happened then? Well, my eyes, sir, everything went white. When I awoke, I was here. Right. <laughs> How convenient. <coughs> so, Officer Meekins, why was it that they arrested you? What do you mean, Emma? Let's look at what we know. Now, Officer Meekins didn't know Detective Goodman, and the victim whom he met at the scene of the crime didn't show his ID card. In other words, we have no way of knowing if the victim was really the victim. And if this body just disappeared from the evidence room, we don't even know if anyone actually died. That's it, sir. That, that's what I wanted to say. That is, I did say something along those lines. Huh? But you still ended up here? They told me that it had to be him, sir, on that day at that time. Detective Goodman was definitely in the evidence room, that's what they said. But you don't remember the events clearly. Yeah, and he doesn't know the detective, so... He wouldn't have recognized his face. No, but the videotape is quite clear. The videotape from the security camera. The crime, my crime, the crime I swore to stamp out. It's there, it's me, it's on tape. And you waited until now to tell us this? I'm sorry, really sorry, sir. I'll hand over my badge. I don't deserve it. No thanks, I have my own. Well, guess we'd better go check out the crime scene. Mm -hmm. Oh no, not this one. The one at the police department, I guess. Or is that what he meant? That's about as red as a sports car can get. Yep, it's pretty red alright. The body was found in Edgeworth's car trunk, and the lock on the trunk was broken too. So the question is, why did Miss Sky chose this car? So what model car is it? I think it was called a sedan or a coupe or something like that. Those are car types, Mr. Wright, not models. You're a guy, aren't you, Mr. Wright? You're supposed to know these things. Maybe it is about time I got my driver's license. So this is the famous Hoyle Drum. Well, no time like the present. I'd li I'll try to kick it over myself. Yeah! That's okay, don't cry. That Lana Sky must be one strong woman. A block. This area is reserved for prosecutors. Defense attorneys are relegated to B block. I dream of the day when I will be able to park my car here. I'll go over to B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Wright. I'm not planning on giving up my job that soon. <laughs> hmm. Edgeworth isn't here. Uh, but how do you get to the scene of the crime? From here, maybe. Ah, maybe. Police station, criminal affairs department. Hey, Mr. Wright, look who's standing at the chief of detectives' desk. It's police chief Gant. 
And you're sure this is all? Mm -hmm. You know what it means if there is anything missing. Sir, I'm sure it's most likely totally perfect. We checked all of his drawers, lockers, garbage cans, etc. Under a seat cushion, cushion behind his computer monitor, inside his personal coffee machine. I see, but if anything does turn up, you call me right away. Do you? Yes, sir! Well, score the place again, sir. We'll score the place again. The chief of detectives looks a little flustered. Aha! Uh -huh, right, oh my boy! How you been? Swim much? Oh ho ho, Chief Gant. Reporting for duty, sir. Why are you saluting here, Mr. Wright? Mm, is Edgeworth going to be okay? Oh, Worthy? Oh, you know, they're doing a little inquiry committee with him. Sounds like an inquisition. Yep, well, they've had no end of trouble with the boy since last year. You mean the incident on Gord Lake? It doesn't look good having the top prosecutor sit in the defendant's seat, does it? And you, you got someone else found guilty in that case, right, Brido? Upon karma. A legend he was, undefeated in his 40 year career. But in court and blah blah blah. Wait, I didn't do anything wrong, he did forge evidence. In any case, the prosecutor's office is in a bit of turmoil, you might say. Why, they do just about anything to restore their reputations. Now, depending on what that inquiry committee decides, it could be bad for Worthy. What? It's downright odd, I tell you, the detective getting killed on their turf too, I mean. Yeah. Scientifically speaking, it's impossible. Yes, but that's what the evidence is saying. Goodman was stabbed in two locations at the same time, that's what it says. What evidence is this? No, no, Rido. I can't give away all our, all our secrets just like that. And this in particular, well, it's a little sensitive and I can't talk about it. I wasn't expecting much anyway. You know one thing I hate most about all this... This hiding stuff secrets? I can't find them. But you know, it's a full-time job keeping the chief of detectives trap shut. And he was the one you were picking on earlier? Huh? You saw that? Whoops! I wonder what it was that he wanted the chief of detectives to do. Let's see if we can find... Kind of discreetly ask him. Who that? Asking who about what? Oh, sorry, you had to see that. Uh, what exactly did the chief of police want you to do? Well, see over there, that's Goodman's desk. He wanted me to check it for anything that might be a clue. They took away every last bit, bit of piece of garbage in the trash can. So nothing belonging to Detective Goodman is still here? Of course not. Well, except for this. What? You kept something? Sure, why not? It's not important. He didn't have his... It, it didn't even finish writing it. It's a lost item report, but it's only half complete. A lost item? Did Detective Goodman lose something? The date on it is February 21st. Better make a note of that, just in case. Hmm. I should really get back to investigating the police department crime scene. Well, I'd love to, if it would let me, but I think it's that way. Ah! But isn't the crime scene over that way? Ah, there we go. Permission to enter. Actually, I was wondering if I could ask you a favor. Hmm, well, I never thought the day would come when Rido asked me for help. I was wondering if we could investigate the, inve the evidence room. Yeah, sure, why not? Now, Rido, 
actually, I'm sorry. I don't need to investigate after all. Righto, please. Do I look like a selfish man? Huh? Heck, if anyone asked me, sir, can I borrow $50, I'd give them $50, no problem. So go ahead, investigate that room to your heart's content. Knock yourself out. It just goes to show, you never know until you ask. And for you here, you can borrow this. Oh, hey. This is the detective's ID card, isn't it? That's a special card for guests, so don't lose it. Yes, sir. It's an honor. Y you just run along and do your best now. Later, folks. Hey, it looks pretty cool on my label, doesn't it? Just think, a real idea. You seem happy. Yes, sir, because, sir, we get to go into the evidence room now, sir. I think this place is a bad influence on the girl. Yeah, me too. <laughs> the evidence room is beyond that door, and we have the ID card from Chief Gant. Let's just walk in. It won't open. Aha. Uh -huh. The card reader has turned up. See? What is that security guard thinking? Howdy, partners. Well, well. What's made, what's made my bambina sky so gray? Officer Marshall. Why does it have to be him? What's that why does it have to be him look for? As you may have surmised, this here is my saloon. Huh? We're here to investigate the crime scene. card you got there on your chest. That's better than a sheriff's badge in these parts. Yee how? Well, what you standing there for? Get along, little doggies. The crime scene's awaiting. Looks like the card reader is on again. While we're here, I was wondering if we could ask you some questions. Sorry, cowboy, but I got no mind to tangle with your, you hombres. You're busy, then. Did I say that? I only said I didn't wish to speak to you. Actually, you said you had no mind to tangle with us hombres. Um, I was wondering if we could talk to you. Sorry, Bambina, but I'm off to roam the land, like a tumbleweed on the wide prairie. Like a gunslinger loading a six-shooter, I say a little prayer. Oh, there was a voice clip. What was that all about, Mr. Wright? I think he was just too hungry to talk. You're just saying that because his stomach was growling, you have no idea what he was talking about either? Well, in any case, we need to get cracking on this investigation prono. Uh, yeah. That smell. Ah, uh, reminds me of Texas. <laughs> so, Officer Marshall, you're from Texas? No, I just saw a special on television the other day. Is this for my baby? Uh, yeah, Miss Star. What's this? What? What's wrong? File steak lunch. If you lay steak lunch. I see. I see. I don't see. I wonder what it means. Steak lunch given to Officer Marshall. Alright, Bambina. You win. Ask anything. Finally, it seems like. He's willing to talk. Officer Marshall, you're in charge of security of the evidence for the evidence room, right? You got good eyes, partner. It's an easy job, and I'm grateful for it. Actually, Officer Meekins at detention center told us. Ah, that poor little doggy. Poor guy. I keep getting his name wrong, and I'm calling him Meekly. He told us something. He said that when the stabbing occurred, you weren't at your station. Well, maybe I shouldn't be telling you this. But since I got demoted from detective ye two years ago, well, it might not look look it, but I lost my fire for the job, you know. So, what were you doing around 5.15 when the murder took place? Well, I reckon I was gulping down the, hi the highway on the back of my steed, Zippy. Note, he was riding down the highway on his horse named Zippy. There's no need for people here anyhow. These newfangled machines do a bang up job of keeping an eye on the place. You mean the security camera system? I don't take I don't take the machines much. Kinda like that stewed broccoli they sneak in next to your safe steak, you know? <laughs> Miss Star told us something. She said that you were a detective until two years ago. It was always my dream to be a rawhide wrangler on the scene of the crime. That's all gone now, like a drinking hole in the prairie fire. You're still investigating the SL9 incident with Miss Star, aren't you? 
that was my case. It's all sold on the rec record books, but it smells like a bad game of poker. I can't let it go. That's all there is to it. What kind of case was it anyway? We've heard the name so many times, but no one tells us what exact what actually happened. There are some things you're better off not knowing, Bambina. Anyway, that case is officially dead as of two days ago. That's right. The evidence transfers. Yeah, Edgeworth was talking about it too. I know what maybe two of the machines in here do. Only two of them? There must be a dozen. Like I said, Bambina, me and machines, well, I like them about as much as I like stewed cauliflower with, with my steaks. The easiest ones to understand are these here security cameras. Those are the ones that Officer Meekins mentioned. If nothing happens, the t tapes are automatically erased every few hours. And Officer Meekins and Detective Goodman, are they on those tapes? I reckon they might be. You're the security guard and you reckon? One more thing. When you go into the evidence room, you need an ID card. That's the card reader by the door. The card reader leaves a record of every ID card that passes through. Mm -hmm. Ah, Goodman went in at 5.14 p.m. Hey, I've seen that somewhere before. Sorry, Bambina, I can't show you more than that. Huh? I haven't heard whether this is related to the case yet. Right, I saw a number on that record just now. Maybe there's some way I can prove that record is tied to the stabbing. Sorry, but could you explain what this whole transferal thing is about? We keep only evidence from solved cases in this room. They're kept here under presiding detective supervisions for two years, so we can reinvestigate them, and if it turns out... There was a mistake, well, so what happens to the evidence after two years? It goes to sleep forever in the underground vault at the co co county sheriff's department. That's what we call transferal. We do it every February. I see now. Transferal is like a funeral of old case. Two years after a case is solved, it's closed forever. Dead. Never to be reopened again. And that happened to SL9 two days ago. Quiet, the investigation must be over here. So this is the evidence room, I really... Uh, <clears throat> it really is kind of like a graveyard. Graveyards are supposed to have grass and trees, this feels more like a morgue. Nice try, Mr. Wright, you can't scare me! <gasps> Whoa. What was that? Sorry, I thought you were a ghost. I wouldn't recommend going around smacking ghosts on the head, pal. So, is it true what I heard? Uh... What, the fact that I can go ahead and investigate the, the evidence room? Yeah, it's true. So, Chief of Police Gant will loan anyone 50 bucks, even me? <laughs> so, that was, that's what you were talking about? In fact... Actually, I was put in charge of the investigation for today. Just for today? Boss for a day. But guess what? You got permission from the chief. So now you're a boss for a day. Gee, thanks. First of all, you want to have this. Evidence room for all plans handed to the court record. Hmm. Is that from Edgeworth's car? Wow, look at this big pile of junk in the corner that looks like a car door. There's a pair of handcuffs attached to the frame. Maybe the guy they caught was some sort of a skip artist and he got away. Hey, that's one of those human profiles for range testing. He's been shot square in the forehead. Better him than us. Yeah, those belong to Gamshu. Yeah, I recognize his fishing pole. Uh, the metal detector, and there's a bit more, actually, there's a few other things. What a sorry-looking fishing pole that is. Ah, that's my personal pole. I never did get around to using it. 
Wait, I've seen that somewhere before. Right, pal, that's... Yeah, that's a metal detector from, uh, yeah, from the case, from the previous case, yeah. Alright, wow, that feels like it was ages ago. And I don't think I've seen this one before, yeah. Ah, oh, that, that's Buck Sweeper. I'm sure it would come in handy in solving some case sooner or later. That cheap-looking box? You can't judge a person or a machine by their cover. You gotta look at their heart. What is the saw and paint doing here? Since the dawn of time, true art has always been a war against oppression. <laughs> true art? I noticed that there's blue and yellow paint here. Perhaps we're witnessing the birthplace of the blue badger? Well, you might say this is my studio. Here? In the evidence room? This place is stuffed with evidence, stuffed with dreams. I'm not so sure about the dreams. Hmm. It won't open. Did you really think it would? Hey pal, our security is high tech around here. What's this? Blood? It's... Yeah, it looks like someone tried to wipe it off. Mr. Wright, what if there are other blood stains left in the room? We should use our testing fluid to check it out. How do I use it? Allow me to say one thing, speaking as a detective. If I see a piece of evidence I know nothing about, I say nothing. Nothing. That's fine. You bet it's fine, pal. Okay. Yeah, but how do I use it? Okay, gloves. SL9. Piece of evidence 11, I guess? Someone left a glove here, but only one. Detective Gumshoe, maybe? There you go, pal. Making me out to be some kind of absent-minded detective. That's evidence from the case, you know? I mean, SL9, it does have a tag on, tag on it. Look, this one's open, and the red indicator light above the door is lit. That locker is coded with Detective Goodman's fingerprint. Detective Goodman's locker? Are you sure it's okay to leave it open like that? Well, it'd be hard to get it open again if we closed it. What with the guy being dead and all. It's empty. They must have taken the contents elsewhere. Wow. Someone must have broken something big to make all these pieces. Detective Gumshoe, perhaps? There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of hooligan. That's apparently from the case. The B case. Yes, a 9 incident, pal. See the sticker on one of the pieces there? Another piece of LS9 evidence. Take a closer look. Yeah. I wonder what shape these pieces were in before whatever it was broke. You want to try to put it back together? Ah, good luck, pal. That's no job for amateurs. Yeah, that's why I always carry around a tube of glue. Well, this piece looks like the bottom. Let's try putting the rest in place. Oh. It's gonna be a 3D puzzle. Mm. I'd say... Yeah. the top portion so that can't be it or like that maybe
That seems to be a portion of the of the top two. Ah, okay, there we go. But it was a vase. Mm. Yeah, that leaves only one, so... And yeah, there's a piece miss missing. But there's blood on it, however. Or paint? Uh, well, I think we did it, but some of the pieces are missing. Yeah, I got that far too in two minutes myself. The problem is finishing it. Were, were some pieces stolen? I bet they were missing to begin with. Still, it doesn't look like the most stable kind of jar. I kind of understand how it got broken. A stable jar added to the court record. A piece is missing, yeah. Oh, like that? Oh. Here. That must have been one massive pool of blood. Never seen anything like it. I'm not a professional. What's your opinion, detective? Hmm. Pale blue blood. Maybe Detective Goodman was actually an alien. This proves that something really happened in front of this locker. I'll make a note of it on the floor plans. Hey, if you didn't want my opinion, you shouldn't have asked. I knew it, this is someone's right handprint. What? What's the matter, detective? This locker, it's mine. It's yours. Please, you have to help me when they come to take me away. I promise you'll testify that I wouldn't harm a fly. You'll do that for me, won't you, pals? This is an important clue. I'll jot it down on the floor plans. I'm counting on you guys. Believe me, you can't trust the police. What? But you're a detect you're you're a detective. So, Detective Gumshoe, your boss for the day? That's right, it's an honor. After all, the murder took place right here in the police department. But if you're a boss, why are you all alone? Where are your underlings? They are using yesterday's findings to prepare for tomorrow's trial. In other words, you got kicked out of the investigation again. I'm adamant, though. I'm going to take control and put this case to rest. In my own evidence locker, pal. You have a locker in here, too, Detective Gumshoe? <laughs> of course, I'm a detective after all. They gave me a locker that only I can open, pal. Only you can open? I'll always believe in Mr. Edgeworth, no matter what happens. So, Mr. Edgeworth is with the inquiry committee right now, right? You're trying to figure out who's responsible for the mess up in court today? I see. I guess this is what you call fate. Mr. Edgeworth just can't get away from that case. That case? Yeah, that case. The SL9 incident, of course. That was the beginning of the end for Mr. Edgeworth. Maybe we can get him to tell us more about the case. This place is more high-tech than you might think. Every locker is fixed so that only one detective can open it. Using their ID card? Well, that's the thing, pal. ID cards can be lost. Why, I'm, only I'm on my third card since entering the force already. Sounds like a lot. Yeah, but even I can't lose my own right hand. 
right hand. Oh, you mean your fingerprint? Exactly, pal. The, the lock for each locker is coated with a fingerprint. Out. That hurts. So the only locker we can open is our own. Funny. They look like normal lockers. These are the latest model. There's a trick to the handles. See? The handles? On the other side of the handles is a sensor, and if the wrong t person touches it, zap, you get a shock. If that's what happened, my hand would be black and smoking every day. In any case, the locks aren't that obvious. There are even some people on the force that don't know how about fingerprint locks. Mm -hmm. like I have to present him something that's going to make him talk a bit more. No, the police department lacks faith in its lock system. After all, Detective Goodman was stabbed here after opening his locker. But at the same time, he was found dead over at the prosecutor's office. So that's not what it was. Yeah, I bet Edgeworth was the most surprised of anyone because of the SM9 connection. That was Mr. Edgeworth's first big case, you know, two years ago. That was the first time the world knew Edgeworth was a man to be feared. But why would evidence from that case turn up now? I guess it's not over, pal. Maybe there are some loose ends left on that case. Tell us about it. That Miss Star is quite the lady. Why, I remember it was winter, I was 16. She was the only one who ever got me to talk about what happened. 16? That's how old I am now. I wonder what happened. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe wore a trench coat in high school, too. Maybe he's gonna talk about it now. Yeah, that, that's the same thing as he was saying before. idea ID not idea <coughs> yeah we already got that reaction before um. ah there we go now, that was a bloody violent case. Violent? So it was a murder? A serial killing. A serial killing? Maybe I don't want to get involved in this after all. But the killer made a mistake and Mr. Edgeworth built this case around that to, nab to nab him. And this was two years ago. That put Mr. Edgeworth right in the spotlight and started the rumor mill. Rumors about forged evidence? It was supposed to be all cleaned up with the transfer the other day. It was the last job he ever did. Detective Goodman, that is. What do you mean? Detective Goodman was a detective in charge of the SL9 incident, see? So, so, that switchblade knife. The victim took the knife out of the evidence locker himself. Hmm. I'm looking for pieces of evidence I might have overlooked. Because I don't think... I don't think... Uh, Gumshoe is going to tell me anything else.
Can I get him to talk about anything else? Notice that there was something poking out of that locker. Why am I getting a reaction here? There is no reason for the murderer to touch this spot if he fled out the door. This just might be something significant. Hey, that's some pretty amazing stuff you got there, pal. What, this? It's called luminol testing fluid. Where'd you get your hands on that? Huh? I'd like to get some too. I'll just borrow 50 bucks from the chief. Where'd you get this, Emma? I always buy it by mail order. Well, I'd better jot this down on the floor plans. Yeah, what's this? Looks like a shirt. I guess it must be evidence for some case. I wonder if Detective Gumshoe should put this here. There you go, pal, making me out to be some kind of slob. I'm not responsible for the evidence here. That said, I bet that evidence locker was open recently. How do you know? If you leave things hanging out like that, the evidence gets dirty or ripped. The guard checks on that kind of stuff and notifies the detective responsible. How many times have I had to him breathing down my neck about some silly evidence? Sounds like Detective Gumshoe leaves evidence hanging out a lot too. I bet he doesn't tuck in his shirt under that trench coat either. If you're going to talk behind someone's back, don't do it right in front of them, pal. ID card. Ah, the one that was on the ground in the parking lot. The number on this is 5842189. Officer Marshall, show us that ID card record again. <clears throat> Look, the fourth number. It's a perfect match. It was used at 514 right before the stabbing. How is that possible, though? How could he have made it from there to the parking lot where he got killed at 5.15 p.m. What's more, there's only one of them cards in the world. So when the incident occurred, Detective Goodman was in the evidence room. But wait, what did Officer Meekin say? So I entered the evidence room and asked the man to display his ID card. So he asked Detective Goodman to show his ID card? What did he do? That's the thing, suddenly he pointed a knife at me. If he had his ID card then, why would, would he have pointed a knife at Officer Meekins? Alright, compadre, you win. I guess I can give you this ID card record. Uh -huh. I've got an idea. Maybe I should show this list to other people with IDs here. Him, maybe. Maybe he is on the list. Could you take a look at this? This is the ID card record of the people who came in here on the day of the stabbing. Ah, I heard the rumor, so it was Goodman. Whoa! What was it? The, 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 that second number. It's not your ID number, is it, Detective Gumshoe? Mr. Edgeworth! What? The second number on this list belongs to Mr. Edgeworth. What? What? Why would Edgeworth have come to the evidence room? Hey pal, look at the time. Was there something you needed to be going to? 
suggest that Mr. Edgeworth's inquiry committee should be letting out soon. I'm going to go give them my report for today. It might help, you know. Report? You mean the note written on the back of that flyer? The one that says nothing but no problems? Hey, it's Mr. Edgeworth we're talking about. I'm sure he can use a report like this. I believe in him. Who needs enemies when you've got friends like Detective Gumshoe? I'm off, pal. Later. I should probably see what Edgeworth has to say, too. Yeah... Yeah, she, she doesn't have access to that place anymore, so... Alright, is he in? What's he doing here? Ah, guests, my apologies. Oh, it's you. Have we met somewhere? Huh? Mr. Edgeworth, I beg your leave. So long. At the bellboy. Is Edgeworth here? They are standing by the window, a teacup in his hand. Right. He has the hotel bring him tea service? Mr. Edgeworth, you're back from the district prosecutor's office inquiry? I am. By the way, Detective Gumshoe was looking for you. Ah, yes. He brought me the latest information, it seems. Really? Was it helpful? Apparently a new French restaurant is opening near here. I think he was trying to console me somehow. Um, the real info is on the other side, Edgeworth. <laughs> Poor Mr. Edgeworth, I think this whole thing is really taking a toll on him. Alright, I'd better check this now. As I was saying, I... Edgeworth, you went into the evidence room that day, didn't you? Just before the incident occurred, no less. Yes, that's true. Why? M Mr. Edgeworth, please don't look at me like that. I was asked to go by Chief Gant, no less. The Chief of Police? He wanted evidence for a case that wrapped up half a year ago. Yeah, it's not written SL6 on that one. He told me he wanted me to keep it here in the prosecutor's office, but it was sold, right? It would have to be if the evidence was already filed. The chief is never one to explain himself. In any case, on the day of the stabbings, I brought this back here. Can I ask what kind of case it was? I can't say. It really has nothing to do with the current case. It was just a pretext to get him to go there, to put the body in his trunk, and for the body to be brought back there, I bet. Stubborn as always, I told you this has nothing to do with the current case. Inquiry committee. So how did the inquiry committee go? Actually, they decided to treat this not as a case of concealing evidence, but as a communications error during the investigation. Concealing evidence? Yes, apparently there are some who believe that I concealed evidence. They gave me a warning. You were lucky this time. Again. Again? I've heard them say that so many times. Ever since that case two years ago. Are you okay for the trial tomorrow? Well, I'm still the presiding prosecuting attorney. However, something happened. They gave control of the investigation over to the police department. The police department? Yes, any further investigation for this case will be directed by the chief of police, Gant. I can't do nothing but wait for his results. I see. Why, I ask you. Why? All along, I've done only what I believe is right. I have nothing to be ashamed of. But still... Wow, I've never seen him this out of sorts. Mm. Mm. This one? No. I have to try most of these things then. Uh, this I've already shown him. Oops. Um, 
this one. Oh shoot, I didn't realize that this was different dialogue from the rest. Some dark suspicion you were wrapped up in. You are the man who revived the worst memory of my life. I figured I'd be telling you about this sooner or later. You must be talking about this father's murder in that elevator. Okay, Edgeworth, why don't you tell me about it? Tell me the truth. Allegations of forgery. The SM9 incident was a heinous serial killing case. The head of the investigation was the deputy chief of police at the time, Damon Ghent. That wacky old coot was involved in the case two years ago, too, then. He was a top officer, and it was my first time working with him. I was nervous. Wow, you get nervous too, Mr. Edgeworth? What I want to know is why he was the deputy chief of police on the investigation. In truth, I used slightly more extreme methods than normal. We were dealing with a vicious murderer. If I let him go, the blood would be on my hands. We won our guilty verdict and the killer was executed. Wait, you didn't? Of course not, I didn't touch the evidence. Yes, I will do anything in my power to win a trial. However, I do have a code. Yeah, you wouldn't change evidence, yeah. By the way, Emma, the chief prosecutor wanted to know something. My sister? What? If you were still studying forensic science, Huh? Yes, of course. Why, just today, Mr. Wright and I were using this. Luminol testing fluid. Hmm. Well then. You might have to use... Have use for this. Aluminum powder for taking fingerprints. It's been chemically treated for better adhesion. From me? Are you sure? We are the enemy, you know. I have no say in today's investigation. Do as you will, Edgeworth. I'm really... No need to thank me. Here, take your powder and these fingerprint files for everyone involved. I, uh, th thanks. How about giving these to Detective Gumshoe as well? How about going back to the evidence to the evidence room and maybe the scene of the crime in the parking lot as well? Ah, the other, the other lady is gone. Uh, no. Fine, well, never mind. Oh well. Uh, move. Uh, this one. Move. This one. Move. This one. Our investigation turned up a suspicious handprint. Here, in this blood on the detective's evidence locker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you had to blow on the mic on the DS to uh, remove the uh, the the powder that 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 that, that was uh, the exceedance. Okay. Each finger leaves behind a slightly different imprint. So let's choose the finger that I that will have left the clearest print, the index, I should say. I really can't tell the difference at a glance. Quite procrast quit procrastinating and choose a finger. I'd say this one. Okay, now it's time to check for prints. Let me show you how it's done. Emma's starting to get that sparkle in her eyes. First, we sprinkle the aluminum powder around. Huh, how do you do that? With the A button, see? Ah, it looks like it did the trick. The aluminum powder adheres completely to the print. Once the powder was well spread, just blow away the excess. There's no mic on the way on the on the switch, so how do you do that? Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Imagine you're blowing out the candles on a birthday cake. See? Wow. That looks like fun. It might take some getting used to though. It's fine, it won't go up your nose or anything. You just pour the powder on thick and blow away the extra. Yeah, okay, there we go. Those are the basics of fingerprinting, Mr. Wright. I guess I'd better give it a try. Yeah, I'll use as much as I can. Right, okay. 
Aha, you did it. You found one. But this looks nothing like a fingerprint. Hmm? Now that you mention it, I guess it doesn't. What does it mean? I think it means we're out of luck. Out of luck? The person who left this handprint must have worn gloves. Don't tell me we've been wasting our time here. Hey, calm down. That's just the way it goes sometimes with scientific investigations. But it does seem a shame. While we're at it, why don't we look for other prints? Other prints? Looking at the locker door again closely. Seems like there are fingerprints outside the bloody handprint as well. Let's see if we can find a clear print. Hmm, fingerprints outside the blood. This one? Well, it would be right in the middle. I think I don't have to do the whole screen. Ah, there we go. Wait, it's not good enough? Ah, there we go, okay. It's better now. Yeah, print so clear, it's dazzling. D dazzling? Anyway, this print took a lot of effort to find. Let's match it up right away. So we're not done yet? This is quite a process. Well, there is no point in finding a fingerprint and not knowing who the owner is, right? I guess she's right. Look at the fingerprint data we got from Mr. Edgeworth. And point out the person you think left these prints. Huh? How am I supposed to know who it was? I could make a pretty good guess. The bloody handprint and the fingerprints are in different places, right? That means that the prints probably don't have anything to do with our case. So whose fingerprints would be would we most likely find on this evidence locker? Just waste as much powder as you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's the gumshoe it seems. That looks closed, doesn't it? belong to, de to Detective Gumshoe. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You gave me this so what look. I guess that's probably because I was thinking so what. Okay, so we came up with nothing this time, but there's always next time. Sometimes you hit, sometimes you miss. You gotta roll with the punches, Mr. Wright. Thanks for the sympathy. Wait, if I remember correctly, there was one other handprint in this room. Yeah, that's it was the, the other one that I was most interested in. This is where we got the luminal fluid reaction, right? Right, there was a handprint here. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Okay, but I have to warn you about something first. What? The area with the blood... With the blood was wiped away, right? We only ended up finding ye finding it using chemical means. Any prints in that area will have been wiped away too. Oh. Right, so that means no prints. Would you say the probability of your hypothesis is high? Don't ask me. Anyway, we must try to find prints that weren't wiped away. Prints other than the ones left by the bloody hand. Uh. Others? I can't see others. Besides those left by the hand itself. Honestly, I can't see anything. Uh, I can't see any. Yeah, she's gonna make the same remark. Mm. 
I don't see any, that's the thing. Oh. On the handle, maybe? No. Ah, shoot. I pressed the B button instead of the A button without meaning to. I keep pressing the A button, but it's not nothing is happening. them um, I can't I don't see any print besides those left by the bloody hand on the locker and they're asking me to find it Why can't I look at the at the strategy wiki I was looking at earlier now? Just to the left of the middle finger. Ah, oh, this? Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I guess the... The pointer was yellow when I was overing over, overing over that area. So, yeah, that would have made sense. Yeah, I'm gonna waste as much as I can then. Yeah, this is definitely not the same print, that one. Could it be that one, but just rotated a slightly different way? Ah, Jake Marshall. Comparison complete. That's found. Hey, these fingerprints, they... Whose are they? Whose? Is it someone I know? It's Officer Marshall. Huh? Officer Jake Marshall? Marshall's fingerprints headed to the court record. That's got to be a coincidence. He's not involved in the crime. Emma, this is decidedly different from Detective Gumshoe's prints. The luminal reaction, the blood and the fingerprints are in the same place. Oh. Oh. So we have Jake Marshall's fingerprints on the wiped blood stain. But why would Officer Marshall? It looks like our investigation is finally turning up some results. I guess this is what you'd call decisive evidence. I I don't believe it. Hmm. Ah well, this is where I have to stop for today. Uh my throat is murder. Yeah, th this case is really long. The investigation parts are, are really long on this case. Uh, day three, anyway. So this is the final 
day, I guess, maybe? Or would there be... No, I think there is one more investigation section. Yeah, so there is still one part of the trial, then one more investigation section, and then one final trial thing where uh, the, the real guilty person is going to be determined. So there we go. Well... That's it for me for today, then. Uh, well, thanks for watching, as usual. This will go on my, to my YouTube channel. I hope I had the mic turned off at the end of last of yesterday's stream. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, and hopefully my throat feels better also by then. Okay, bye-bye.